The more this Sans AU series has gone on, the more I think that this quest to cover every single Sans AU is next to impossible. In fact, a lot of you who suggest AUs to me are creators yourselves, but honestly, I'm okay with that. It makes me happy that I got a lot of creative people in my audience, and I'm always happy to cover Sans AUs made by fans. Anyways, this is going to be a Sans AUs Part 8. I hope you all enjoy, and like always, leave a comment below on what alternate versions of Sans you'd like for me to cover. I was thinking of going into an Undertale Offspring video, even if it seems a little strange. Anyways, enough with the yap, let's get started. True Godity or True Bean is a Sans quote unquote variant that was created by Vols, who was nice enough to send me a request through email. This variant was first created after an omniscient entity known as the Codebreaker started experimenting with specific types of code known as God Code. These experiments resulted in the creation of an entity known as True Godity. Now, I like how the wiki specifies True Godity is a male because he was made with male God Code. It implies code as a gender, and I find that amusing. Anyways, this entity ended up being omnipotent because of the god code and ended up aiding in the creation of the Undertale multiverse. Now, as for his appearance, he doesn't really have one, but he is described to be wearing what regular Sans wears, along with a blue open jacket that's covered in odd symbols. The creator themselves is requesting art drawn, so if any of you guys want to help out, that'd be cool. I know I got some artists in my audience. This Sans apparently possesses unlimited abilities, but his main ones are fear, omnipresence, view, and delete. He also has the power to summon Toby Fox. Honestly, I can see this guy being in the competition for most OP Sans AU. Swag Messiah. Alright, now this is a weird case because this is an alternate version of Papyrus. But then again, when it comes to swap AUs, Papyrus takes Sans' place most of the time. So, technically speaking, this could be the fusion of a Sans Papyrus variant, so I'm just gonna talk about it. Mainly because the two people who emailed me were very respectful about it. Anyway, Swag Swap is a joke variant created by Captain Milk and Sansa Developer, with the latter having their own YouTube channel that I'll link in the description. Swag Swap, from the looks of it, has purple colored bones and gold teeth. Very swag indeed. Despite not knowing it, this guy can break the fourth wall, being capable of beating people to death with a check option. Swag also has no idea he's breaking the fourth wall in the first place, thinking it's an ability everyone has. He also has the ability to shoot gasser blasters, but relies heavily on bones instead. Anyways, there's also a Swag Trust variant, but I've heard the word Swag so many times that it's starting to take a toll on my brain. Abyss Sans or Cell Sans is an alternate version of Sans created by Metakaz. This variant is a protector and a wanderer that has surprisingly grounded levels of strength. <laughs> Unlike the other variants, this Sans does not have a soul, instead he has something called a Cell Core. A turquoise ball of DNA that was created by the last royal scientist. Cell Cores require a host to survive, and with one, increases a monster's magic output significantly. Abyss's cell core underwent evolution that allowed him to create wings, shields, and chains. This Sans also dons a blue sleeve jacket, a black shirt and shorts, and what appears to be a flaming turquoise eye that's capable of changing to three different phases. Overall, a really cool character that also is canonically 15 years old. I don't know about the others, but this one might be the youngest Sans AU I've ever covered. A couple more fun facts about him is that he's afraid of hospitals and laboratories, he hates white chocolate but loves regular chocolate, his birthday is December 5th, and in his world, he works as a jeweler. Link start. Faint Sans is a Sans variant created by MNB Diaries. This Sans comes from an Undertale universe known as Faint Tale that was transformed into a VR game. After the 13th Genocide run and continuously getting his mouth stitched shut, Faint gathered powerful artifacts like the Fuser, Haunted Doll Eye, Cloak of Strength, and Papyrus' Scarf that was infused with his dust. This Sans wears all of his artifacts, with the Turquoise Cloak of Strength, the Salmon Colored Scarf of his brothers that change its appearance after fusing with his dust, and the Doll Eye that is capable of producing rainbow fire from it. He also has the ability to fire string and web bombs just like the Spider-Man, alongside having a body that's made of roots. Overall, a pretty cool design and character. Faint is also a part of a team with a few more Sans they use that I might cover in due time, given I get information about them. Pencil Sans is a Sans variant with an unknown origin. Now the creator themselves didn't provide me with any backstory and said I could find it all on Character AI, so I went on it and quite literally had an interview with a Sans variant. Now I don't really mess with AI too much, but having an interview with an Undertale character is kinda cool. 
Anyways, Pencil Sands is pretty similar to Ink Sands, as both use a drawing tool as a weapon and act as multiversal guardians. Pencil's original universe and creation are unknown, but we do know he became a guardian in order to combat Eternal Sands, a variant who absorbed 8 human souls and aims to terrorize the multiverse. Pencil wears a brown sweater with a grey collar and wields a giant pencil on his back. Overall, he's a cool character and clearly inspired by Ink Sands. I could have said some of the lore wrong since AI isn't perfect, but oh well. Remember, reality is an illusion, the universe is a hologram, buy gold, buy! Multi Sans is a Sans variant from the Code Void AU created by the Pixelationist. Now, Pixel said I could find sprites of this guy on their Pixel Art account, but I could only find sprites for characters known as Past Dust and Traveler Sans. Now, either of these guys could be multi since many of the variants go by different names, but for the sake of simplicity, I'll flash both of these sprites on screen. Anyways, Multi Sans is a Sans variant that travels across the multiverse and tries to restore them. His own universe was destroyed and turned into code lines by Error Sans, and after being trapped in his destroyed universe, Multi fused with his universe's code lines which allowed him to travel across the multiverse. He has the ability to alter things around him alongside being able to fire purple bones and code covered gaster blasters. The gaster blasters actually have a pretty cool special ability, being able to alter the reality of a person they hit. This Sans is specifically stated to be not too powerful and has only one attack and one defense, just like the original Sans we all know and love. He's also said to have the same level of strength as Ink Sans. Now, can someone in the comments specify how strong Ink Sans is? I've known about him for years and I was always under the impression he was incredibly strong due to his multiversal powers. Medium Stone Grey Sands is a Sands variant that, despite having such a joke sounding name, has a pretty cool power set. He's essentially just Sands, but Medium Stone Grey colored. Because of his Medium Stone Grayness, the Sands has the ability to control any rock or stone. He also has a hat that's made out of marble block from Terraria. Why specifically Terraria, I don't really know. Overall, MSG Sands is a ridiculous concept for a character that has some pretty admittedly cool powers. I am a man who can never die. CD Sans is a Sans variant from the CW Tale universe, not associated with the CW TV network in any way, I think. This Sans actually has a pretty cool backstory. Because of a glitch in his code, every time he's killed, he just comes back to life. Because of this glitch, other more sinister Sanses would kill him repeatedly for free XP. He was essentially just a grinding method. Because of his countless deaths at the hands of others, he ended up going crazy and started his own killing spree and becoming a god. This Sans has a red hoodie, black shorts, green eyes, and red tentacles he received after being kidnapped and experimented on. His constant overflowing power sometimes leaks out of his body as a green, goo-like substance that can be used to control people if it touches them. He can also transform the goo into anything he wants. You might have Dusted Change's last life Sans is a Sans AU created by Tranavia and Golden Official. This Sans is a combination of the AU's Dust Tail, Last Breath, and Sudden Changes. DC LL Sans, of course, kills everyone in the underground in an attempt to stop the humans' continuous genocides. After 50,000 genocides, reality broke due to the sheer number of runs, causing the game to become unstable. After realizing he was in a game, DCLL went insane. This Sans' eyes flash from yellow to red and dons a bluish cloak, a hood, a funny little bow tie, and a straight up gun. Oh yeah, I forgot Sudden Changes had that. Alrighty, that's another one of these Sans videos done. I know I put these videos out once every couple months, but the time intervals between the uploads seem so short. Anyways, like always, leave a comment below if you want to request a Sans, or just say something nice. Remember, you can always just email me if you want. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.